Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're going to be making a cyberpunk baseline. Here's a preview. Now that you've heard the preview, let's go ahead and make this thing. So first we're going to load ourselves up a, whoops, the wrong thing. We're going to load ourselves up a zebra two, spelled with a Z, of course. And once we have it open, we will begin our work. We're going to go to initialize and to make our greasy, beefy sound, we're going to load up two oscillators. I'm also picturing something that is monophonic, perhaps legato. And let's take our glide time up a bit. Somewhere in that range. Why not? Okay, so we're playing pretty low. That's cool. I'm gonna go for a dual thing. And on the second one, I'm thinking about tuning it up an octave. Let's uh, dial that in. Let's also turn sync on mess with the sync what the heck and on this let's attach this to an lfo that could be something interesting oh lfo one's already ready and good to go let's change that to yeah a quarter a little bit of room and perhaps not a quarter let's make it something so longer like a second even longer perhaps and 10 seconds course we need to toss ourselves a filter on here and on the filter we're going to attach the cutoff to envelope one and sometimes the knob you pick matters depending on the mode and i can never remember the rule there we go yep so it's gotta be this first knob and actually let's give this envelope two that way our volume envelope and our Filter, which will basically be the volume envelope or separate. Maybe we make this really like this. Nah, 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 nah. I like where we're at. Okay, we're gonna need a, a faster. Let's bring our decay down and. Okay, cool. This is getting pretty interesting. Let's try tossing in a comb filter sort of in the middle. That could be uh, very interesting. Where are you? There you are. And let's also make this so that our selected thing goes on top. Let's get rid of this. Select it on top. Okay. Now for the comb filter, all this stuff doesn't matter. Just bring it some input. Bring the feedback up. Let's change and see what other kind of the sounds we can get. Let's try a couple others. Dissonant. That's pretty cool. Let's come in here and see what we also have. We have some distortions. Let's go for that. For the first distortion, let's try a fold back. I'm gonna boost the low end a bit. Maybe I'll actually take it out and put some high end. Let's try, rectify always makes it sound sort of thin. So it maybe just drive a tube amp hard. Okay, cool. 
cool. So I think I'm going to run with this. Uh, I'm just going to grab a drum loop here, just this one. And it's already moving pretty quick. And that's right in a quick line. All right, so I have my basic line here. Now it's time to make it sound a bit greasier. I'm gonna see if perhaps changing the sync now on the LFO to something a little shorter might make more sense. And it's so dang fat. Okay, okay, so I'm writing out a longer sort of musical line and just so you know, for the envelopes, you need to turn on the velocity sensitivity here. Just, you know, just turn it up. And then you can come in here and make cool little transitions with, uh, with the envelopes here. And that can be pretty dang cool. So here's where we're going to stop. I did end up making a second patch with just the glide and the other one being on retrigger just cuz I really liked the retrigger during the other other stuff. So here's just here's what we got. That's where we're going to stop. So, of course, it would continue. I'd also probably uh, be a bit more musical with additional patches and things. But that's that. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon. And have a blessed day. Yeah.